It's been a while since we have done these practical AI use case videos, but no need to worry, I am back today to showcase how to build your own AI chat assistant that lets you chat with your documents, PDFs, text files, HTML, PowerPoint, and so many other file types. Now why even showcase this? What's even the purpose of chatting with your PDFs? Well, dealing with PDFs and other file types is one of the most rigid forms of data containment. It's difficult to search, analyze, or even get data from it. But what if there was a solution? This is where AI comes to the rescue, but in the form of a platform called Vectorshift, which is a platform that I utilize to automate various sorts of real world use cases of AI. Now, this is where today we're gonna to be showcasing how you can interact with multiple PDFs simultaneously, how you can chat with your files, and this is where you can chat with multiple different file types PDFs, text files, HTML, and so many other types. It's gonna make a better way for you to interact with your data, get key insights, and so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. Today, we're going to be utilizing Vectorshift. This is a no-code AI automation platform, and this is where you can basically utilize this framework to help you build various sorts of automations with the help of AI. This consists of AI solutions to build AI search engines, assistants, you have different types of AI agents that you can deploy, chatbots, and so many different types of automations. Now, I have a lot of other videos on this, so I definitely recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below, where I basically automate data entry, I automate different sorts of chatbots, and so much more. So definitely recommend that you take a look at that. But now that we have that out of the way, let's get started. What you want to do is go over to the vectorshift.ai website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Click on the get started button. Once you have done that, I want you guys to create your account. You can do so with your email address or continue with Google or GitHub. So once you have done that, we can then proceed forward. Once you have created your account, you will then send over to the pipeline page. This is where you're going to be able to manage all your pipelines that you create. These are just the automations that I have actually created beforehand. If you go over to the marketplace, you can actually access different types of automations or workflows that have been created by the community. If you go to the storage, this is where you can basically create your own knowledge base. Automations are a way for you to automate different sorts of workflows. You have your chatbots that you manage, you have evaluations to track metrics of your automations and workflows and various other components. Now let's go back to the pipeline and create our new pipeline. This is by simply just clicking on the new button, but you can also see that there's other templates that have been created by the Vectorshift team. For example, you have different assistants that you can adopt. You have different chatbots that you can just utilize. There's various other things such as automating your Gmail, Google Drive, Google Docs, and so many other components. This is what makes Vectorshift the ideal no code automation platform. But in this case, we're going to be creating our new pipeline from scratch. So we're just going to click on this plus button. So once we do that, it'll take us over to this drag and drop UI where we're going to be building our workflow. So what we're going to be doing is creating an AI automation that enables us to chat with documents with a similar chat GPT interface. This is something that is going to be very easy and we're not even going to be using any sort of code. So what we're going to be doing is starting off by placing an input node and placing an output node. This is foundational for any workflow to be basically operational. It needs to have an input query so that it can basically generate an output. So once we have this set, we can then proceed forward with the next step. 
Our key node here is going to be the large language model node, which is going to be utilizing OpenAI GPT-4 Omni model. And what we're going to be doing with this is having it so that it's going to be the backbone for our workflow. It's going to process our PDFs with natural language processing so that we can utilize AI to have better analytics, better insights for our data. Next, I'm going to be placing a chat file reader node. This is where you can head over to the chat component category and then you can place in this node. The reason why I'm going to be placing this is because it's going to allow the creation of a temporary vector database and it's going to basically allow you to chat with your files. I will also be placing a chat memory node and the reason why I'm going to be placing this is because it's going to enable semantic memory. What this basically means is that whenever you chat with the AI, it's going to remember the history of previous chat interactions and this is for generating better future outputs based off of prior context. Next, I gave this OpenAI large language model node a system prompt where I told it that you're going to answer the questions, use the file and the conversation history if necessary. Now, how do we connect all these nodes to make it basically operational? What you can do is head over to the prompt tab over here and you're going to need to insert your variables. This is where our first variable is going to be the question where we're going to be connecting in the queries that we get to the large language model. This is where you can write in question and then write in insert variable. Now I usually keep it indented to the next line over here and then we can just rename this and keep it as question. Next one is going to be the file and this is where we're going to be processing the chat file reader. So then what you can do is just click and enter and then place in another variable and then rename it to file. Then the last one is going to be history. So this is where we're going to be connecting in our chat memory. So what we can do next is just click enter again and then insert another variable or it has to be actually going down over here. But let me fix that and place in another variable and then we can rename this to history. Now what we're going to be doing next is connecting all these different components. So the chat file reader will be connected to the file obviously, the chat memory will be connected to the history and the question will be linked to the input node. And there we go, we have our workflow finally completed. Now what you can do is head over to the deploy as button. You can click on chatbot, you can give it a name. So I'm going to just give it a random name, chat with PDFs. And then I can give it the same description, I can click save. And once I've done that, you can actually go over to the functionality tab. And this is where you can edit components for your mobile or your desktop app. Or for styling cases, you can even have it so that there's different assistant avatars, launcher URLs. You can export your chatbot, which I'll showcase in a bit. You can embed it in a website and through WhatsApp, as well as different APIs, as well as Slack. Now you have a manager where you can manage all your analytics as well as your logs. So that's a great way for you to get a better understanding of what is happening. But now let's go back to the export tab, open this chatbot up to see how it looks. And there you go. What we're going to be doing next is taking a look at this Apple Inc shareholders file, which is an 80 page document talking about this year's report on what has been happening with the company. So what I'm going to be doing is downloading this and I'm going to be basically feeding it to our chatbot. To do so, you click on this paperclip button over here and then you upload the file that you want to interact with. And within a couple seconds, we're going to be able to chat with this. You can see that all the files that you have uploaded will be over here and you can now start chatting with it. So you can ask it, what does this report entail? And within a couple seconds, we will have the chatbot process through this PDF, which is going to analyze the components of what this report is, and it's going to give us a summary of it. And there you go. Now, the first time it's going to interact with the PDF, it might take a bit longer, but you can see that it has now give, given us like a good, concise summary of what this report is about. Now, I'm going to basically ask it more questions. What does topic number nine talk about and it's gonna now give me a better analysis of what this topic it had generated about and it's gonna give me a generation on what that topic is about and there we go this is how you're going to be able to chat with your files not just pdfs but various file types and this is where you can utilize vector shift to help you do so i definitely recommend that you try this out there's various other things that you can do such as automating your data entry 
to generating different types of AI agents as well as assistants. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.